Welcome into Death Valley here in Clemson, South Carolina, where this afternoon the Wofford Terriers play their 2015 opener as they play up a grade taking on the Clemson Tigers. Wofford coming off a six and five season a year ago, going four and three in the Southern Conference. They take on a Clemson team that was 10 and three in 2014, including a win in the Orange Bowl over Oklahoma. Back in 2011, four years ago, the Terriers came into this stadium and nearly shocked college football, leading in the fourth quarter before falling by eight points, 35 to 27. We'll see if Wofford can figure some things out today and perhaps make things interesting again. Here are your highlights. I'd like to do this. I'd like when the captains walk out, when the captains walk out, I want you to hold hands and I want your arms up as we walk out to meet them. And then you won't be alone because everybody else here, they're going to be on the boundary and they're going to be up. We will take this fight to these guys all together. We will take this fight to these guys as a unit. Fight this fight. All of you guys stand tall. Whether we up, whether we down, whether we got knocked down, or whether we knocked somebody down, stand tall. Play this game. Play this game. Respect this game. Let's go out and let's show these people what Wofford's all about. Show them what that black and gold is all about. There's a lot of cats in here right now that wish that they were in your shoes. There's a lot of guys in here right now that got nicked up, banged up, and bummed up, and they can't play today. Give them some reps. Give them some reps. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Everybody, everybody, do not worry. Do not worry. Because we all in it together. And it's all about us. It's all about us. Unity over self wins every time. All of you guys, all of you guys, you know we love you. We've worked your tails off, and we've worked your tails off for one reason, to give you an opportunity to be the best you can be on the day that you have got to be the best. God bless. Let's go. First and goal at the Terrier, four and a half. Four receivers, two either side for Watson out of the gun. Puts it up toward the back of the end zone. Leaping try, incomplete. The pass was caught in the back of the end zone, but the receiver ends up landing on the end line, and he is ruled out of bounds. And the they reviewed the play, and it said he got a foot down in bounds. So, wow. All that, and it was a Clemson touchdown. Tigers score. Oh, they just showed the replay, and he banged his head into the goalpost stanchion. Wofford first and 10 from the 25. And again, it's Brandon Goodson, the sophomore, making his first career start for Wofford. Terriers go out of the wing bone, hand off Lorenzo Long, twisting over right side of the line. We'll get two to the 27. Jermon Hopper out of Charlotte, a wide receiver, a redshirt junior. Second and eight at the Terrier 45, flat pass. That is McLeod. The freshman has it at the 45, but then he is gang tackled quickly at the Terrier 43. Jaleel Green and Chris Armfield combined for the stop for Wofford. Watson from the gun, Gallman, the lone back, a two tight end formation. They'll lob it near corner. Artavis Scott has the ball knocked away by Armfield. Incomplete pass in the end zone. Again, two tight ends, two receivers to the right, a single back for Watson. Handoff, Gallman left side, dives in, touchdown Clemson. Snap coming from the 10, Artavis mm. Scott back deep. There's the rugby style kick, end over end, will bounce in front of Scott. And, well, that is not Scott, that is Hopper. He'll pick it up at the Clemson 42, and then he goes backwards, and the Terriers will get a hold of his jersey and drag him down back at the Clemson 35-yard line. Second down and six from the 11. Schusler rolling to his left under fire. Ball knocked out of his hands. It's loose on the ground. Terriers can't come up with it yet, and now they do. Wofford football. Lincoln Stewart knocked it away from the quarterback, and then Michael Roach was the guy who recovered the fumble. Terriers get it on a turnover. Second and 10 from the 33. Out of the gun, Goodson. Two left, one right. He'll throw Gay on the in pattern. This time he's got it at the near hash mark. Catches it at the 36. He has finished off at the 40s and a first down. And a flat pass thrown. 
taken by Scott, near side 30. High steps a man at the 20. 10-5 touchdown Clemson, Artavis Scott showing off that all ACC speed. Die remains the running back, Watson out of the gun, tight end shuffles in motion left. Handoff right up the middle, Die touchdown standing up. Tigers now lead it 27 to nothing. And here comes Evan Jackson to run the offense. First series of the day for Wofford quarterback Evan Jacks. Six foot even 205, a redshirt junior from Johns Creek, Georgia. Takes the shotgun snap, hands off to one of his two backs, and that's a handoff carry for about three yards out to the 20 to the 22. First and 10 at the Terrier 25 now. Three receivers left, one to the right. Schusler claps his hands, handoff, and that's Brooks right up the middle, 20, 15, takes it to the 10, he takes a man to the five, he will dive into the end zone, touchdown Clemson. And here's Sanders to take the snap from Hammond at the five yard line, single receiver, back deep for the Tigers. There's the line drive, rugby kick bobbled, and dropped by the return man at the 50 yard line, the Terriers say they have the ball and they do. Wofford football. Two receivers to the wide side, one to the right, and Jack's going to run the option left, cuts it back up at the 50, takes it straight ahead to the Clemson 46. One man to the left, two backs flanking Evan Jacks out of the gun. Clemson four down linemen, seven in the box. Jacks running the option left, late pitch away to Colvin, block out front 30, far sideline to the 20. Nick Colvin finally knocked over at the 15 yard line. That's a 17 yard carry. Jacks will take the shotgun snap, two receivers right, one left. He gets a great block as he backs up the throw, throws back across the field to the far side. Muller's got it at the 10, Zach Muller to the five. Zach Muller is knocked over at the half yard line with five seconds to play as he's bumped out of bounds right in front of the pylon. Again, five seconds to play, first and goal, double tight end formation, quarterback keep, Evan Jacks didn't make it. Jax tried to go behind his left guard, and he has stood up as the first half comes to a close, and Wofford is stopped short. There's one second. Please reset the game clock to one second. Wofford is charged with their third and final timeout of the half. Carriers full house wishbone with two tight ends. Jax, handoff, Chase Nelson, left side, second effort, touchdown. Chase Nelson is in. Wofford first and 10 from their 25. Jacks out of the gun with two backs, running the option right. Pitch away, looking to turn right corner. 25, Will Gay steps back inside to the 30. 35 all the way out to the 38. Wofford down 35 to 7. 13 20 to play third quarter. They've got it third and 10. Man in motion left. Jacks, backwards pass, caught. Now it's going to be thrown deep downfield, and it is caught at the 22 yard line. Wow! 37 yard try inside the right hash mark. The holder is Brian Sanders. Good snap from Hammond. Kick on the way from Marvin. End over end. Plenty of distance, and he nails it. A field goal for Wofford to start the second half. David Marvin with a 37 yard kick. Fourth and goal from the one. Watson out of the gun with a single back. Handoff up over the top. Touchdown. Wayne Gallman. Wofford now third down and 11 from their 28. And the Terriers with a little razzle dazzle. A pitch back to the quarterback. Jacks, he'll roll near side. Throws near numbers. Caught by Colvin to the 25. Escapes two tacklers ahead to the 30. Gets it out to the 35. First down run by Colvin on the catch to the 41 yard line. Third and seven Terriers from their 24. Shotgun for Jacks. He'll throw to the far side. Man wide open. That's Muller with a first down catch to the 30. Zach Muller to the 35. That he will be high tackled out of bounds at the 38 by TJ Green. First down reception. Drive started at the Tiger 32. Third and goal from the one. Brian out of the gun. Hand off right side. Tyshawn Dye. Touchdown. Coach, difficult day. You played a very physical, very talented team. What did you take away from this thing in terms of things to build on? Well, you can't be a good football team unless you have all phases. Uh, we were a one-sided team uh, defensively. I, I thought those guys played hard. Uh, did some real good stuff. Stopped. Clemson several times. Uh, offensively, we, we just struggled all day. Uh, we finally got something right there at the end of the half. Uh, we, we never got in a rhythm, uh, and, and that goes to Clemson and the way that those guys played and the way that they structured their defense. Uh, it was a very tough day for us. Uh, you, you would like to say that uh, we, we could play a lot better than that, but uh, if you 
you've got three phases, and if you've got uh, one of three phases not working, it's going to be difficult, especially against a upper echelon team like, uh, like Clemson. Uh, what went into the decision to have Brandon Goodson make his first career start in this environment today? Well, I, I think it comes down to consistency in practice. Uh, that's the bottom line. I think all those guys have the ability to to play and to to execute. Uh, what we've got to do is uh, hopefully simplify things and, and get it to where we're mo more consistent than we were today. A ton of inconsistency really was, and uh, – you know, that, that's on us as coaches. Uh, today, when you look at the ball game, a number of guys went out with injuries. Yes. Um, any idea, any word on guys like E.J. Speller, Jaleel Green, uh, Mike Jones? Well, not now. I, I think uh, we'll, we'll find out for sure tomorrow. Uh, all the guys will come in for treatment, and then uh, they'll get checked. Uh, for some of them, I would suspect it, it, they probably won't be able to play next week but uh, be able to play at a later date. Uh, I'm not sure if any of them had a situation where it was season ending. Um, we had a lot of young guys that, that had to play out there. I'm, I remember looking out there and we had three true freshmen playing the defensive front. So uh, they, they got to cut their teeth on a pretty good crew. Uh, hopefully we, we've learned a lot uh, as a team and uh, it's, it's gotta be uh, put this one on the shelf get ready for the next one, Tennessee Tech. What would you like to see improve in practice this week leading up to that ball game? Well, uh, uh, consistency in our offense, uh, that's, that's a big thing. Uh, consistency in our defense, being able to make sure that our guys fit their gaps, do what they're supposed to do. Um, defensively, uh, uh, again, they, they played so many snaps. I think quite frankly, you know, we, we were leg weary. Uh, I'm not sure how many snaps we had, probably 80, but uh, at, at the same time, I thought they fought, fought through it, uh, and, and we had a lot of guys that, that uh, stayed out there time after time after time. Uh, we've got to be a consistent team, um, got to do the, the little things right, and you got to do the big things right, and uh, it's, uh, it's one of those days you'd... Uh, You'd like to forget. Uh, I'm going to forget it as quick as possible, and uh, because it, this is the first game of the season, we got to get on with it. And uh, the next one's Tennessee Tech, and they'll be at home. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. So with today's season opening loss here at Clemson, 49 to 10, the Terriers now look ahead to their home opener, yet another non-conference game next Saturday as they take on the Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles out of the Ohio Valley Conference. It will be the first time the Terriers and Golden Eagles have played football since 1949. That'll be a 7 o'clock kick at Gibbs Stadium. Pre-game on the Wofford IMG Sports Network will be at 6.30. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.